Hey there, in this video I'm going to go over how I added a swimming mechanic to my game and the challenges I faced. I began with a system to detect when the player's camera is inside the water. When the camera is in water, an effect is applied to the background music playing and the screen gets a blue tint with the UI I made. Next, I made this swimming animation and then began trying to figure out collision detection for the water. So Roblox has this thing called touched events. It can detect when the player touches something. That's great and awesome, right? Well, no, because there's not a great way to detect when the player stops touching something. What I got to eventually work was this cool, awesome community resource called Zone Plus. It's the thing that made my swimming system possible, but it sure did cause me headaches multiple times. Should the player sink or float? At first my answer was float, but that caused more problems that I didn't feel like spending more hours on, so I chose to make the player sink. Oh, and to do all this sinking and floating, I used Roblox's linear velocity constraint. Just like collisions, this part of the swimming system took far too many hours. Now that the player sinks, we need them to be able to swim up, but what method should I use to do that? I started off by making the Q and E keys on a keyboard and make the player move up and down. My game needs to work for computer, mobile, and Xbox, so I need a better solution. I then tried using the player's camera as a way to move the player up and down. This was a clunky system, and I switched to moving the player up with the jump button. In the process of trying to get swimming to work, I had broken many mechanics that were previously working in the game, and so I fixed the issues as well as some other things not related to movement or swimming. 